Hello. Uh, welcome back to my series on how to make your own Terraria mod. In the last episode, we looked at just you know, generating the code for, for the mod, and um, that included an item which was a basic sword, and we, we messed around with the values just to get a, just a sort of feel for how these items work. Um, today we're going to be um, covering how to make sprites and then add them as an item into the game. Uh, now, I've recently finished what I've recently finished watching Neon Genesis Evangelion, and I thought a cool first item to add would be Unit One's progressive knife. Um, to make the sprites, we're going to be using a website called Piskel. Um, and we'll just click here to create a sprite. We don't have to make an account. And um, I found this image, which I'm going to sort of base base it on. Obviously, this is 32 pixels by 32 pixels, so we can't get too much detail in. But um, you know, it's it's a knife. We'll be able to get enough detail in, uh, and we'll just see how we um how we go. So I'll um I'll try and time lapse this. And I'll see I'll, I'll see where I end up. Okay. It froze. I thought reloading it would would refresh it, but it's all gone. Ah. Okay. Um, I'll look back at what I did and see if I can do it again. Um. That is so annoying. Okay. Um, I will see you once I've rectified the situation. Okay, I'm back. I've managed to um, pretty much get it the same as it was before, and I'm just finishing off the final touch. Um, I don't know why the website crashed. Very annoying. Maybe try, if you're working on a big sprite, try saving. Try saving it regularly to your, to your computer. Um, but yeah, no, here we go. So the sword is now, or the knife is done. Um, it's sort of modelled off of this shape with this colour scheme here. I think it's turned out pretty well. Um, so let's go ahead and save it. We're going to save it as... A, we're going to save it as progressive knife. Description, we don't need to do that. Okay, actually no, we don't want to save it, we want to export it. Resolution 32 by 32 PNG. Um, open the spreadsheet as a data URI, no. Single frame as a PNG file. Exact, this is exactly what we want. Image 1.png.png. Ah, perfect, okay. So, I'll, I'll um... I'll quickly rename that. I'll just um where were they? it's in downloads, I think. Now if I move image one dot png dot png to progressive knife. 
um, .png. I should then be able to put it into um, here it is move it into here we've got our progressive knife feeble rod and progressive knife looking quite cool what we want to do now is make a new file um, select language C sharp and we will save it as progressive knife .cs or whatever you want to call it progressive knife .cs save now what we're going to want to do is basically copy this over but instead we are going to change the class name to be progressive knife um, we can change the description to be something like um, I don't know yet we'll come back to that <laughs> um, um, leave everything else all right let's see let's see if this um let's see if this works build and reload it works well at least it compiled if we open up cheat sheets and we look for progressive knife ah look at that now that is cool looks very cool now one thing I forgot to do is to change the dimensions here because if you remember we saved it as 32 by 32 so the image width will be 32 and the image height will be 32 so that means you know when we're when we're fighting an enemy the hitbox isn't too big that it, lo it looks like we've swung and missed but it's actually hit them so right finally there's just one last thing that we're, we want to add um i've set the set the uh the description to it appears shinji akari dropped his progressive knife while piloting evangelion unit one i also want to change the rarity i checked the documentation it goes from minus 1 to 13 so i think maybe 12 is apt the value is in copper so if 100 copper is a silver um a silver and then 100 silver is a gold and then 100 gold is a platinum and then 100 platinum that'll do i think and um yeah the last thing we want to do is add this recipe properly mod recipe recipe is a new mod recipe so the okay i've thought about this the ingredients i want to add are well there are three different things i want to add luminite chlorophyte and souls of light and i also want to use the oh the forge um so there's this lovely little github page which has all of the names of things so luminite should be somewhere luminite bar is actually luna bar um, that'll be the first thing and 50 um, the next thing is chlorophyte. Chlorophyte bar. A hundred. And finally, souls of light. 
perfect. I will also put a hundred. Um, tile ID workbenches. I'm just gonna hope that forges is a thing. Um, let's 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 give it a whirl. More sources. Build a reload. Tile ID. Okay, forges doesn't exist. Let's have a look at that then. Okay, after some digging around, I've realised forges aren't even in the game. They are anvils, and I actually want to use demon altars. Um, so, let's try again. Demon on altars now work. Here we go. Single player. Progressive knife. Looking good. 300 melee damage. It appears Shinji Akari dropped his progressive knife while piloting Evangelion Unit 1. Now what I want to try is making one of these. So can I can I spawn in an altar? I can't. I'll have to find one then. Let's put God mode on for that. Um, so we want 100 soul of light lumen light bar chloro fight bar and then we need to just go and find an, a demon altar okay so I finally found an altar and let's see if this works <laughs> It doesn't. Why doesn't it work then? Oh, because I think I've got a hundred chlorified bars. If I get some more. There we go. Progressive knife. 50 luminite, a hundred chlorified, a hundred souls of light. There we go. We can craft one. Um That's all for for today's video. Um oh, thank you for watching and I'll um See you in the next one. I'm planning on looking at the uh, the dust system and the and the sounds next, and then potentially and uh, maybe adding some NPCs. So, so stick around. You might learn something. Yeah. See you.